guys welcome back to my channel today is going to be a review and swatch video for the Becca and Jaclyn champagne face collection palette and oh, I'm obsessed with this palette and I have been for weeks it's like the only blushes I've been using the only highlights I've been using so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy so the first thing I want to talk about is the packaging and let me just tell you that this packaging is so sturdy and it feels like it was actually really well put together and not to mention the mirror. I don't want to like blind you guys or anything. It has my fingerprints all over it as well, but it is so clear and you can literally do your, like your entire face makeup in this mirror because it's so clear and you can see your entire face. Whereas like the shade and light palette, like you can still see like your entire face but you have to like hold it out farther and it's just not as bright as the mirror in this one so that's actually really appreciated and like the detail on this is beautiful I think Jacqueline said that these were like confetti and this like gold packaging pretty much just makes like the entire palette next thing i want to talk to you guys about is the pan sizes and how big these pan sizes actually are before i show this i want you guys to know my nails are pretty messed up so i'm sorry about that but i took them off and i haven't had time to get them redone yet so the first thing i want to show you guys is the pan sizes as you guys can see that especially the highlights they're pretty big pan sizes Here's a normal pan size for Becca. I'm pretty sure they're almost the same size. Like definitely, you can definitely see that you're getting your money's worth. I think I almost spent $40 on this one. I think it was like 38 and you get this entire palette for $52. So that's freaking awesome. And then the pigmentation is also there. And the blush shades, as you can see, are definitely smaller than the highlight pans, but these still have a lot of product in them, and they're just so pigmented that this palette is going to last you a very long time. So the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna swatch these for you guys, and so you can see how they look on my hand. The first one I will be swatching is Rose Spritz. As you can see, it's very luminous. This would be great if you didn't wanna put a highlight on but you wanted something that would be highlighting to your face and you could just use this obviously as a blush and it would also give you that really nice glowy effect to your skin. Next shade I'll be swatching is the shade Amaretto and this is a mineral blush. I'm not quite sure if that's actually how you say it. If I'm wrong, you can go ahead and correct me, but this goes on super smooth and I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't have any foundation on, I just have contour and well bronzer and then this blush and then prosecco pop on top and i think it looks really nice but here is the swatch for amaretto this would be really great for like an everyday blush if you didn't want something too brightening and you just wanted it to kind of have a really nice appearance on the skin the next shade i'll be swatching is pample mousse i think that's how you pronounce it this would be great for if you want a brighter look or if you're going for something more like doll-like, if that would make sense. If that would make sense. As you can see, this is a very pigmented, very pink blush, but this also applies very beautifully on the skin and you don't need too much of it. As, as you can see, the pigmentation is definitely there and it's also there when you're wearing it on the skin, not just for the swatches. The first one I'm going to be swatching is this one. Okay. And now I'm going to swatch the one in the palette. Oh. So actually, I, it is a little bit different, honestly. This is the one that comes in the Champagne Face Palette, and this is the one that's just in the pan. As you can see, this one is definitely a little bit darker, but I really like the one that's actually in the palette more. Last 
but not least is Prosecco Pop, which I have been absolutely obsessed with. I'm wearing it today. I've worn it every single day since I've gotten my hands on this palette. It's the only highlight that I've been using. It is such a pretty color. It goes on so well as a lot of people were pointing out, even Jacqueline pointed out, that this is way more like yellow than Champagne Pop. And I'm gonna turn my brightness down yet again. As you can see, it's a lot more yellow than Champagne Pop. Let me go ahead and pick that up once more. Here's Champagne Pop and here's Prosecco Pop. They're actually showing up pretty similar on camera, but I promise you, in person, Prosecco Pop is definitely more yellow, which means if you're more pale, it's going to show up a little bit more yellow on your skin. So after the swatches, after the packaging detail, after the sturdiness of the packaging, this palette, I believe, is definitely worth the $52. So if you can get your hands on it, then get your hands on it because honestly, this is a palette that I have been reaching for every single day. It'd be great for you to take away while you're traveling because there's three different blushes. You can use them for three different occasions. There's one for luminosity, one for like every day, and one for if you are going a little bit more dramatic. And two beautiful highlight colors. And this mirror is also worth it 100%. This packaging is just awesome. Becca and Jacqueline did an amazing, amazing job with this palette. And honestly, I would give it a 9 out of 10, honestly. This is way better than the one that was released last year that they did with pearl champagne pop and then a blush topper this one was definitely made better and now that we're at the end of the video i have some exciting news i have a surprise for you guys I'll be giving away one Jaclyn face palette and this is going to be open to anybody whether you're in the US or you're out of the US. This is going to be available for you guys to win. So how you guys can enter this giveaway is you're going to have to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave down in the comments below why you guys think you should win this palette as well as following me on Instagram which is Makeup by Tootie and following me on Twitter which is also Makeup by Tootie and those will be linked down in the description bar down below. I'll have a hashtag which I have not thought of so far for Instagram where you can repost the picture and also enter it that way but you guys must be following me on Twitter, Instagram, and then be subscribed to my YouTube channel. But you guys can finish your entry by either commenting in this video or tagging me and reposting a specific picture on Instagram. I'll let you guys know what exactly that picture is and what the hashtag is after I get this video up. I am so excited to give you guys this palette or at least one of you guys. I know a lot of people are going to be wanting it and I really wanted to give away something. I just didn't know what I wanted to give away because I haven't really because I haven't really been seeing any makeup products that were worth giving to you guys, but this palette had so much work into it. Becca and Jacqueline did such an amazing job on this palette that I was so glad that I could buy it for you guys and I can give it to one of you and I can't wait to see who wins. Keep you guys updated on my Instagram so make sure you follow me on that. That is going to be Makeup by Tootie and that will be leave down in the description bar down below and that will give details on the instructions once again on how to enter the hashtag, the picture, and when this giveaway will end. So I will talk to you guys later. I really hope you guys like this review and swatch video and I will talk to you guys in my next video.